Hello everyone, Monkazonki here, and welcome to my Rorarius guide. This is a monster that you can kill at 81 Slayer. It offers a decent range in XP per hour, and it also offers a very good way to make money as they have a common drop rate for Ascension Keystones, which typically sell for anywhere between 400k and 1 mil GP each in the Grand Exchange. You can usually gain a couple of these Keystones an hour, making this a very good way to make money. Of course, the 81 Slayer requirement can be um, a hassle for some to get, but once you reach it, you've unlocked a really good way for low levels to make a fair amount of money per hour and not really put themselves in any danger. Um, it's not a very difficult monster to kill, and you can camp there for a long time, and it's quite easy to bank as well. So first of all, I'm going to be going over a really easy, low requirement loadout that you can use um, that's not going to set you back a whole lot of money. So let's look at that. Um, right here I have Royal Dragonhide. Uh, you only need 65 defense to wear this, so that's not a very high requirement. I have Dual Wield Chaotic Crossbows. If you do not have these, um, I would recommend to use a Royal Crossbow, or even a Zerite Bow if you can afford that. Um, I have War Priest of Zemrat Gauntlets. However, uh, you can wear like uh, Royal Dragonhide Van Braces or Barrows Gloves or something like that. Those work just fine. Um, I have Rage Fire Boots because these monsters use magic and it's decent magic defense. Glaven Boots would be even better, um, or you can wear something like War Priest Boots if you don't want to spend the money. Uh, Royal Bolts, of course, a Amulet of Fury. I have a Slayer Helm, even though I'm not on task. If you are on task, you definitely want to bring one. Um, and otherwise, it just offers really good defense if you have it all the way upgraded. And I have an Ava's Alerter, which offers a decent armor and range critical. And, uh... Ring of Wealth to improve my drop rate for the keys, and the Green Fingers Ore is not important, so disregard that. Um, I must say, if you don't have Turmoil and Soul Split unlocked, uh, that's okay, you can still go here. Um, we'll just have to change the familiar inventory a slight bit. Uh, in your inventory, you're going to want your Charm Imp, your Winter so Storage Scrolls if you have a Yak. If not, that's fine. Just bring a War Tortoise instead. Um, you just won't be able to bank the Rune Limbs and uh, other drops like that, so if you'd like, you can bring some Alk runes to Alk uh, the rune drops. I have a few emergency sharks, some extreme range. If you don't have the Herblore level, just bring super ranging potions. Uh, prayer potions in my inventory, and I have prayer potions in my yak. Again, if you don't have turmoil and soul split unlocked, uh, replace these prayer potions with sharks. And then you're just going to be praying magic instead of soul split. So, we're going to be teleporting to the Oogalog Lodestone, which puts you pretty close to the entrance for the dungeon where the Roraruses are located. Now that we're at Lodestone, we can just run straight there. I gotta warn you that this is a very commonly known about method, so there's most likely going to be someone on this world. If that is the case, don't discourage, just use your friends list to hop around worlds until you find an empty world. Don't crash people, um, especially not if they are in Serenic gear with Ascension crossbows like this. I do gotta say, Serenic gear is a humongous waste. Don't use it here. It's expensive and it degrades and you don't need it. So we found a world with one person who isn't going super hardcore. He's just kind of killing them slowly. Uh, if it's really hard to find a world, just find a world with someone like this um, who doesn't have the best gear. Uh, no offense to him or anything. Uh, but he's just not killing them at a super high rate. I'm not going to crash him or anything, I'm just going to kill a couple for the purposes of the video. So you just want to pot up with your extreme range and turn Anguish and Soul Split on, or if you're on regular prayers, just protect from magic, and then start killing them. Uh, one thing you do want to try to do is use multi-target abilities as soon as possible, such as the Ricochet abilities, and that will help you, you know, kill multiple Rorarius. They will all start attacking you all at once, so you don't have to worry about aggroing too many because that's going to happen anyway. If you have completed the World Wakes quest, make sure to use the Death Swiftness ultimate ability as soon as it highlights up on your action bar, because you will hit much harder with it. Um, the only drops that you really want to worry about picking up, I pick up pretty much all the notable stuff. Um, the Maple Logs are not worth a whole lot, and uh, if you would rather not pick them up, that's fine, because you won't make much profit from them anyway. Um, I also pick up the Mithril Plate, so you might wonder why this is. They ALK for about 3k each, which is more, worth more than a Winter Storage Scroll, so in my opinion they are worth banking with Winter Storage Scrolls or ALKing if you do bring along ALK runes. 
Um, the maple logs I use myself for like fl AFK fletching, um, if I'm in, ever in a situation where I need to do that. And uh, I also pick up the gold ore, which is worth a fair amount more than the maple logs, and I definitely recommend picking that up. Um, they do also have a pretty high drop rate for runite limbs, which you can alk or bank with your pack yak. Um, I just got some right there. They are worth about 9k each, so they're definitely worth taking. Uh, don't worry about the adamant longswords or anything. But the only thing you really want to work, look out for is the ascension keys. Um, they will have the yellow glow around them when you get them as a drop, so you don't even have to pay full attention. Since these things are aggressive on you, if you did bring along a spare amount of food, you can um, choose to turn on momentum and uh, just AFK here. However, it's a bit harder to stay alive that way since they do hit pretty hard at times. Um, but you can definitely try to AFK if that's what you'd like to do. Anyway, that's about all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next guide coming out tomorrow.